I had a vision, that's all. I, I made sure I had a vision. I made sure that I, I found people that supported my vision. And that grew and grew and grew over four years and it became like a part of all of us. Good. Fuck. How long have you guys been playing together, the band? As a four piece, it's been like a year. That's it. Uh, uh, over a year now. Yeah, over a year and a half. Yeah, and a half. yeah so we prefer it as a four piece. It, it gives a it gives a way like more full sound. It's like all those ideas that I kind of had that I couldn't play myself. Like Bo kind of takes over and he kind of does his own thing. It's don't you Bo? Don't you, you I Bo? do. I do. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bo, was, Bo was the hard working fresh air that we all had. In this band. He came in, he was like, I've got everything practiced, man. I don't know what you guys are on about. Like, like, we were like, fair enough. Dylan, no, Dylan's got, Dylan's, Dylan's just, Dylan's got all the equipment. He's got all the, he's got Yeah, he's equipment guy. He is, he is just like, he's the, he's, he's the fundamental of this band. He's genuinely the fundamentals. Oh, we'll like, just without, leave it fundamental because with, without Dylan's, really without nice. Dylan's strong bass and his speaker system, we would do nothing. <laughs> We wouldn't be, honestly. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Now Joel would be. Yeah. And Joel's the gig finder. Joel's our little manager. Oh yeah, Joel's, Joel's he's the built-in manager. He yeah, is. Yeah. He just he loves it. And we've we've tried to take the role off of him. We've been like, Joel, we can it's help like, you no, out, man. No, no, no. Yeah. No. And we just can't do it. And all it does, yeah. So it's just he's the emailer. He's kind of the one that kind of talk. He's the link between us and gigs. So like to you know I, talk to the. I, rest. I, let, I let Bo do some stuff. He's swap. Yeah. You know. I do some stuff. But Bo's under my wing. You know. Yeah, Other than, yeah, yeah. And then my job is to obviously create the ideas with music because, well, we've kind of stuck with that for a while. I mean, there's Bo that writes his riff, there's Dylan that writes riff, Joel writes songs, so we all kind of, we put in as much, but but definitely, I wouldn't lie, it's, it, as I said to you, it was my vision to start with, so I, I do take on that role to create the music. Like, I, I just believe music should be a bit more chilled out and just, just open up people's minds and their imaginations. There's a girl, she don't like my bed Rather stay in hers instead again Bring back the sun till it's paradise There's a boy, he don't know how to speak Kicks his girl down when she's too weak again Bring back the sun Not competitive at all. Then I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't think one band play like us. No, and it's. I'm. Yeah. And I'm not saying that we're better or worse. I'm just. I could just know for a damn fact that nobody plays like us. Mm. It's like we're a boy band. Yeah. And we know like, it. Fun. We're more yeah, of a boy yeah. band than we are a band because, yeah. like, it's like proper Westlife. You know, like <laughs> <laughs> proper Westlife. But no, as in yeah, like, like the levels of harmonies. It's not like I'm. When these guys do come in and sing, it's not all the time. But when they do, it's nice when it's rich. You know, because that's that's how our songs work. That. I don't know why, maybe they are like Westlife, you never know. Mm. But um, people have always loved that. Anyway. Yeah, people have always yeah. loved always that because it's, it's nice because I've grown up listening to so, so much music and whenever I've heard something rich in harmony and rich, no matter what it is, it's always good. And we love the hell out of funk. Yeah. Funk music is like... Yeah, we're growing into that more. Yeah, so. it's like we weren't good enough to play it before but now that we've we've we we've, now nah, we're good enough now i'll tell you that i'll tell you that we'll play you some funk mate we'll play you some funk we love our funk we That's love our funk aggressive yeah we'll <laughs> give you that <laughs> funk <laughs> give it to you whether you want it or not <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> he's gonna right. he's gonna slap you. So I'm gonna you get I'll a give big it to, Joel slap. Think, I'll give it to everyone now. You so. have. Yeah. So it's okay. Yeah. Kind of evened it out. Dylan's the bully. And shat on everyone <laughs> in this interview. So we're all just like. <laughs> That's alright. They can take that stuff out. I'll still remember it. It'll be funny for me. <laughs> what motivates you to create music? <laughs> I, let me tell you one thing. It's about the people. It's about bringing community back. It's bringing it's bringing music back. It's it's too segregated now. It's too it, it's too disconnected now. Everything is too disconnected. There's barely any live music anymore, and it hurts. It hurts a lot to see that. That like I mean, you get the you know big headliners like like even Chili Peppers this um this reading and all that. I mean, you got downloaded, but I don't know when new upcoming bands they don't carry the soul that these old bands did. You know that these these live bands came with. You know they don't have that much. Uh, I'm sorry, I ain't slating any band, but I'm saying that what I see isn't that much character. It's more let's try to fit in. Let's try to, and it doesn't. Yeah, it just makes me sick. It makes me sick. It does. Yeah. As a band, what would you say your greatest achievement has been? Um. Silverstone? Yeah, Silverstone yeah. was pretty cool. Yeah, we played yeah. the the MotoGP official campsite last year. Um, main and stage. Was, yeah, like main, on the main stage, there was like a thousand people there. It was like it was surreal. Like, yeah, it was mad. Yeah, and also, um, you know the Doritos guys on the ever we played with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The yeah. yeah the Mariachi. Yeah, Mariachi band. Yeah, they went run after us. That, that was like the second day. Was that second day? I think so. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that was, that was a really good weekend. You we did like two days. Oh yeah, we stayed there. Great Greatest achievement. achievement. Greatest achievement is now seeing in band practice and the, and being like, I, Bo just played a song out of nowhere. He literally played it. Oh, yeah. And then we literally just played, played a song. song. Played a song. As if it first was time we first time. It, yeah. Like that to me is the best achievement that we've ever done. Like it, the fact that we can just hook onto each other now when we play and be like, okay, that needs that, you need that. Joel's like, ah, I'm shagging a flagging her. And then, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> like, exactly like that. And it's just, like and that. it's just, it just, it works. To me it works, to them it works. So like, that's my favorite, that's my best achievement with this band. The fact that we could just play together like that. Someone asked us to play without a practice, we can play, we will play. His finger hurt, bless him, so I was just like, boo boo, needed it. First wrinkle. Hey, what's the craziest thing or sort of most awkward thing that's happened at a gig for you guys? What? When we pulled that girl up on stage here, that was pretty funny. Oh, she oh, jumped, yeah. jumped off and like broke her ankle or something. <laughs> that was her fault. It wasn't actually <laughs> awkward she for me. She break something. I think she like, yeah, she like seriously hurt her ankle. <laughs> Didn't know. But worse, I think yeah. she got kicked out afterwards. Well, oh, bless her. Nah. She was loving it though. She was yeah. Like, yeah. fucked. Yeah, Bo just yeah. pulled her up and I was like, oh, oh, who's that? Oh, it's just a random <laughs> person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh Nothing God. to do with that. Bo played drums in a gig once. <laughs> oh, oh yes. that was the worst. Talk gig about oh, <laughs> talk about a bad gig. Oh, that was yeah. That I was mean, the same gig I pretended to play guitar. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything yeah. fucked up. All our guitars fucked up. All our equipment fucked up. So we just fucked up, really. Yeah, so like with that, we we were just playing, and then <laughs> we made we were fun. We were fun with it. He, he went oh, on it drums. Was, was so he could play a bit of drums. But yeah. I just I just ditched the guitar. I was starting to jump around and. Yeah, people people still digged it. Luckily, it wasn't a headline; it was just a support set. So you know, we were just a little creme caramel. 
<laughs> they could go for their main course we're, later. We're, we're Why would they have the cream caramel? That's because right. because, some, you're, because you're, it's you're nice. Dessert. We're yeah? a cream caramel. Cool. Yeah. Cap you're dessert. The we before, are the dessert before first, before okay? The we okay. just. I just wanted to make sure you knew what you were talking about, and I don't think you did. Like anyway. cream caramel. <laughs> it's really nice. It's scary to think about it, it really is, because you, we're in an industry right now that in five years it's gonna be something totally different. Like, yeah. we don't know where we're gonna be in five years because it, like, in a year's time, music is just gonna be flipped on its side all over again. Like, every year is changing, man, and it is scary. It's like, we're not, and it's not to do with how good you are anymore, it's to do with the promotion. It's to do with how much, how many people are behind your back. That's that's the most important thing about music. Right like, it's not the 70s anymore, man. It's not the 80s. A load of people know this. That's that's almost cliche me saying that because so many people know this now. You know, it's 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 kind of depressing because I mean, you, you were just good back then. You would just play awesome music. You know, it was really easy. There was a community. But right now, social media has blown out. The world can look at one thing, and if the world doesn't look at one thing, it, it doesn't really get anywhere. You know, it, it gets to a standard, and then and we I I can I'm not. I'm not a genius, like, I couldn't sit here, none of us are, we couldn't sit here and tell you this is how we're going to become famous. But we're gonna show you as hell try. Let's... Mama don't cry unless you wanna die, yeah. But don't stop my father from eating her mind, yeah. I look to my brothers cause I'm weak inside, I get high. Till my brain starts to bleed out my eyes, I never will cry. Yeah! 